telling them what the advantages, advantages of investing in Coquitlam will be for them. Uh, definitely commercial property taxes is one of the major concerns of the uh, businesses in Coquitlam and that needs to be addressed by finding uh, another source of revenue that uh, Coquitlam can be generating. Uh, having more businesses in the city will be resulting in breakdown of the property taxes on commercial on into more businesses than just a few business shouldering them. Uh, I want uh, to see Coquitlam a lively city. I want, I again mentioned this, I want uh, Coquitlam to be a lively city even after six o'clock. Businesses are paying for rent for 24 hours anyway. Uh, there are lots, uh, Coquitlam has got, actually is called home for 41% of its population, which does not speak English as a, as a second language. And a lot of those immigrants, uh, they want a fun and they want a lively city. Uh, for example, I know Chinese uh, community uh, loves karaoke. Uh, do we have a place that they can go and sing karaoke? I know uh, I do love to play pool. I do love to play bowling, but I cannot afford to pay 32 bucks an hour to go and play bowling in the city, you know, city, uh, the, the, the cinemaplex, uh, the one beside the uh, theater. That's right. And, 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 I, and I think another thing is, again, we should be looking at multicultural development as an opportunity uh, to develop more business and to bring more business to this community. There, again, if, if, if you look here, have a diverse community, we have a lot of immigrants. International education may be a very good source of revenue for this city. We have Douglas College here, uh, we have a few private colleges here, which we can attract international students. They come here, they will rent places, and they will be able to